Kia ora guys and welcome to 2023 and in particular on this occasion welcome to Blackhead Beach and the Tiangi Angi Marine Reserve it's just not a good day the rain's coming in and out it's grey, it's overcast I was bored out of my school so I've left the missus in the van reading a book I'm all weather sealed with a new jacket that she bought me for Christmas bless her and I've got my baby back my Leica Q2 has returned in stellar record time it's supposed to take 16 weeks and it's taking something like about maybe 10 weeks if that eight weeks i'm going to check I'll, I'll put the dates below when it went away and when it came back but it was super fast so the like q2 with its full weather ceiling we're just going to walk along the beach try and make a few photographs now i just want to give a massive massive shout out to Leica. if you're not seeing what i did i'll link to the video above but i killed the sensor on my Leica q2 after just 14 days of ownership stupidly like her incredibly generously i've done the full repair and give it a service and then upgraded it and whatever they needed to do they've, they've done the full monty under goodwill so it's not cost me a cent which is uh, i'm quite blown away by that service you know hats off put it back on it's wet hats off to like her for looking after me and, and they really have i'm blown away by their generosity so that's just a big ups to like her really so I'm thinking that could be the first shot. Not a lot of colour in this shot at all. Straight off the bat, I'm thinking this could be black and white. I think it'll make some quite moody black and white photographs today. And it could be a shot that side as well, actually. This rock pool in the foreground, Mr. Hills to the south, looks pretty cool. And just to turn you around, those are the Mr. Hills to the north. Which is a beautiful, beautiful little location been a while since I've been down here. Gorgeous, gorgeous place. That looks nice. One of the really cool features about the Leica Q2, it's got a built-in macro lens. So you just switch over to macro mode as easily as that and you can get in nice and close. We've got some seaweed, whatever it is. We've got the rocks. We've got a bit of a shell in there. And we're just gonna get nice and close in there and see what we can make. Beautiful, let's have a look at that. See if we can get in nice and close. That looks pretty cool actually, that looks pretty cool. And we're just gonna pop off another macro shot maybe this rock here Now I'm thinking this little amphitheater of a rock pool is going to look pretty cool as a foreground to the misty hills on the horizon. We'll just work around it a little bit, maybe from maybe from that angle I'm thinking. And just along this stretch here, you can you can clearly see where the beach, the sandy beach comes to a cropper and out to the slabs. I can't actually remember what these slabs are made of. Some sort of sedimentary rock, I would imagine. Great place to explore. Bring the kids down here. Let them have a potter about in the rock pools. Play on the beach. Beautiful. What a spot. Just made a shot of this little scene. Got a little bit of rain coming through again now, but nothing major. Just... Well, I have to say, even in these conditions, which aren't too bad really, I'm loving this, absolutely loving it. I think from memory, there used to be a bit of a track, a road, that sort of linked the northern end to the southern end of the reserve. I could be wrong on that, but it rings a bell.
or it could have been just like that you know just a little grass track that ran along So I really can't tell you how good it is to have the Leica Q2 back in my grubby little hands. It just does what it does and it does it well. So uh, now I've got it back, I'm going to look after it a lot better than I did the last one and I hope it survives in my hands more than 14 days this time. And one of the great things about coming down to this beach today is that there are no lasers around. So uh, the sensor is pretty cool I reckon. No chance of it getting nuked. <laughs> All I've got to do is avoid getting it into the salt water. And if we can avoid that, I think the camera's gonna survive and survive well. This is the northern end of the beach and you can see where the coastal erosion has been taking place. You can see where the slips have come down from the hills. Just look at that, absolutely amazing. Let's just push on a little bit further. I'm gonna get a quick shot of this here. We've got, I don't know if you can see that too clearly, but we've got that little cabbage tree that stands up straight and we're gonna link it right in the center of the slip there. I don't know if that's translated too well onto camera, I think it is, I think that looks pretty cool so that's what we're going to get, we're going to get that shot there as this next uh, band of rain comes through but I think that's going to make quite a nice little shot Now one addition that I will definitely make for the Q2 is to buy myself a polarising filter because the shots I'm getting into the rock pools, they're okay but the polarising filter will just take away the glare and let me see deep into the pools and it will make some really, really nice shots. And that's just from the sunnies. You can see what a difference that makes there. So the polariser will be very welcome. All right, let's push on. a shot of this of this slip on the beach we'll try and angle it round about there to coincide with a slip above it on the hills and the trees and the mist it's gonna look quite nice let's give that a go we're gonna mooch down the beach a little bit further and then we'll head back I don't want my missus finishing her book and then hanging about waiting for me because that'll get me in bother again. And we're not having none of that, are we? Because it's a new year, new start. Paul's on his best behaviour with a bit of luck. Well, the weather's starting to close in now from the south and you can walk along this beach forever and then you come across this. Look at that. This is like a small volcano with a crater lake in there. Maybe a salty spa pool, who knows? But I'll tell you what, I'm going to make a photograph of that. Just the wealth of patterns and textures on this beach is incredible. What a fabulous place to explore with a camera providing that hill doesn't come down again. Now the mist is just starting to clear a little bit on the southern headland. Not much, not enough really, but I'm thinking this group of rocks in the foreground, the headland coming down this side, um, just a sneaky little bit of the headland that you can see just poking through in the background might make a nice shot i think it's too misty on the horizon though unfortunately i'm loving these atmospheric misty murky moody conditions fantastic who, who says there's anything such as bad weather bad weather in my opinion makes good photographs that is one reason why i went for the leica q2 because of the full weather ceiling and i'm not concerned about killing this thing in this particular way 
lasers <laughs> another thing keep out of the way them damn things the headland is starting to stand out a little bit more now looking a bit more defined let's crack a few more frames here Rain's starting to come down a fair bit now. In the interest of self-preservation, I'm going to make my way back to the van, make my lovely missus a cup of tea. Just on a closing note, I'd like to say a big thank you to everybody for sticking with this, checking out the channel. Really do appreciate it. And once again, just to close out, a massive, massive thank you to Leica for repairing my beautiful Q2. <laughs> I promise I'll look after it. To be fair, I'm pretty heavy on my gear anyway, so you know what I mean? I'll do my best to look after it. I've killed a few cameras. Salt water, seawater has normally been the Achilles heel when it comes to photography for me. I tend to get hit by a rogue wave every now and then, which instantly kills the camera. I know this thing's weather sealed, but I don't know about salt water. <laughs> I wouldn't trust it, not at all. So we'll just, uh, we'll just avoid that like the plague. Until next time, guys, catch you later. All the best.